Well, well, well. How in the heck is everybody? I gotta get me a, a towel, friends. Oh, it's good to see everybody. Oh, wow. How's everybody? Let's get you guys on here. It's been a while since we've been in the bunker live, eh, friends? Huh? It has been. Let's pop in. Let's see if we can get this fired up. Interesting. Oh, yes, there it is. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. From the UK, Ethan. Good to see you, brother. Wow, look at that. That picture is good, isn't it, friends? Hey, it's good. What was that racket? Washington, hey Brian, Josh, Mike, Bruno, Freddie. What's on the bench? Well, I'll tell you, if you know anything about axes, uh, you'll, uh, you'll appreciate what's on the bench today. As far as the internet goes, um, yeah, we, we got in the axe world, we got a special tool on the bench today and a special handle. The handle is uh, Kevin, good to see you from Spokane. Frankie Johnson, hey friend from, from Missouri. PA Farmer, hello Edward, good to see everybody here. Very good. Why don't I put this over here? Then I can kind of, you know, do my thing here, turn around. I may have to turn around. I may put you over there, actually. I may. Because then I can work on this. But actually, I'm pretty close to being fit. I just spent the last, as you can see, you know, I, I didn't want to be, you know, behind. So what we've got, friends, what we've got, and I did a small video to show the build, like show the stuff that I've done. This is a C30, okay? Whiskey River C30, you all, you know what they're like. This thing is going to be, and, and what it is, friends, is it's a Tasmanian pattern axe, Okay? It's a St. Catharines. It's a Kelly Axon Tool Company. Let's see if you guys can pick up the, the insignia on here. Let's see. You might not be able to. See that? Axon Tool Company, St. Catharines, Canada. It's a freaking deadly axe. Like, I mean deadly, with a skinny little eye in it. And we're almost there. We are. I had to do some interesting shaping, friends. Look look at the back. Somebody hit it with a file years ago or a grind. Like, see what I mean right there? Can you guys see that? Might even help if I brought you guys in here. But you, you can, because I got the light right there. What I could do, if I'm going to show you things, what I could do is put this light maybe behind here like this when I show you. Yeah, that's what I'll do actually. Oh, as a matter of fact, I'm amazing because look at this. I'm not amazing, but I can use this light behind the camera here. There we go. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about right there. See, so now you guys will be able to see, look at this. Let's try that again. Yeah, look at this, friends. Huh? Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. And you can tell I already finished the... Oh, yeah. There she is. There's some light on the Situ I-01 now. Hey, we got a super chatter. See what I mean about the, the freaking narrow spot there? Nice to see everybody. 
This thing is actually close. And friends, uh, I probably don't have any, it, it's sharp. I finished sharpening it. It's sharp. <laughs> okay, let's let's have a look here. Four and a half pounds, friends. Yeah, here we go. See, there we go, right? So let's take some of this down now. So when you get to this point, friends, when you get to this point, you, you don't want to touch any of this or any of this. You want to leave all this and just take what's what you're hitting. Let's just take some here and some there. Could almost sand it, you know. This bench never really, this vice never really works that good, but we'll try it. Okay, you saw what I did there, right? You can almost feel it, friends. I could easily take it to the sander right now. Yes, I could. I absolutely could. I'm just not that kind of fella. I, I don't know why. I, I, I'm just not. I, I like using old school tools. I don't care if it takes me five times longer. I don't care. Edward, how you doing? Ethical Axe, hello. DJ in Inefficient. Joseph Hedges, be happy. Be loving and swing away, brothers and sisters. You too, Joseph. We got a couple of super chatters in here. Your super chatters help a lot, friends. Thank you so much. We got Gavin Smith. Thanks for what you do. Gavin, thank you for the super chat. Super chat. And Eric Holbrook. Eric, thank you, buddy. Just because, he says. What a man. Thank you, buddy. Okay, let's try something here. This helps too. You can see what's going on. Yeah, see, look at, we're almost going, well, we are. Now we go down, we go down until flat. Friends, we, we go down until it actually is at the flat top and it stops. So anything now is a bonus on a friction fit. This is sharp, friends. It's sharp. I don't think I have paper. Uh, I may have something here. I'm not one of these guys. You probably haven't seen me do this a lot, but I know it means a lot to some people. They like to see this. It's sharp. <laughs> it's very sharp, actually. I'm getting better at sharpening, friends. I, I just, it's like anything, you know? 
Okay. So I want you guys to see something. This is a skinny little handle, okay, skinny. This is actually gonna be an amazing little tool. See, okay? But, but look what's important, this is important. See the fit? It's a tapered fit. Okay? Did you hear that? That's it. It's done. This thing's hung. Okay, so actually, I'm going to make this even better, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. This handle's got a little bit of a, whoop, whoop, just a little bit, but the, the head is dead square. You can see in the middle of the handle, it kinks a little bit. Whoa, who's that? What does that mean? Oh, Faluva Sur Survivor, Super Chat. Thank you, buddy. New guy, newbie. Hey, welcome, buddy. Who's this guy? Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you for the Super Chat, brother. Dad of two boys, Boxcar Jimmy, Joe Watts, Joel Watts. Matt, man, good to see you. Christine, I love you, darling. How are you feeling? Josh Johnson, William DeBerry, William, Jay Ports. Love it, love it. Okay, I want to show you something. At this point, it's very important to have a look at what's going on here. Somebody got after this with the drill, friends. You know what I mean? When they drill the, the wood out, somebody got after it and made it all kind of weird. But I'll show you what we got now. Remember what I showed you last time, right? Watch. You see what I'm saying? It would probably be fine right now, but it's not fine for me. Okay. Check this out now. Okay, see this? Look how much more we got here. Okay. This side we're starting to we're starting to grab here now so I'm actually gonna do some a little bit of sanding right there or just yeah give me two seconds actually I don't need to I can scrape that let's stay old school backwards Yeah, I gotta start being careful back here now. I wanna try and grab as much as I can, friends. Do you know what I mean by that? Do you know what I mean? Like, I wanna try and grab as much of the wood as I can. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with what I've got. Friends, when you're doing what I'm doing right now, going down, hammering it, checking to see where it's peeling, another thing you can do, friends, to cut down on that is you can, I don't care what you've got, you've obviously got sharp edges here, right? These are sharp, okay? So you can take whatever you got. You can take a power saw file, and that's usually what I'll do. I'll take a, a power saw file, and I'll just go like this, friends, okay? And I'll just chamfer that edge a little bit. 
I've already die grinded all the rust off inside here. As you can see, don't ever forget to do this. Get inside there with your die grinder. Get all that rust off in there. Or it's going to screw up your haft. So you can use a die grinder on the edge here too. Or you can just do what I'm doing. It just takes that sharp edge off and it, and it won't peel as much wood. Who watched Luke Rockhold last night fight Paulo Costa? Who watched the UFC last night? Oh my gosh! Those guys inspire me big time. I'm telling you right now that Luke Rockhold, as much as he's, you know, they're all kind of pretty interesting fellows, he put on an amazing heart, show of heart. I think that's why I like them guys so much. Okay. So here we go. Now this shouldn't peel as much now, friends. Okay? Okay. Let's do this again. Now, try and remember what I'm doing here, friends. Watch this now. Watch. Did you just see what happened? Did you just see that? <laughs> friends, check this out. Okay? That's what I want. That's, that's exactly what I want. So I'm probably over a little bit on that side, but that's not going to... No, that's not going to matter. Oh, oh, this turned out lovely. You're almost, you're almost contouring the wood. When you don't have a stock eye where someone has ground it with a grinder and made it all crazy shape, you have to, basically, if you want no gaps, you have to be a woodworker, in a sense. Right? Listen to the sound of this. Listen. Right there. That's it. Oh yeah. Uh, see, see, this is glorious. Th this makes me so happy when I see this, friends. Yep, that handle's got a little bend in it, but that doesn't bother me at all, actually. Oh yeah, you can see it. You can see it. I'll probably even try and straighten that out like this, maybe. I'll put this here like this. Somebody asked me how I straighten handles out. Well, what I do is I put, um, I'll put a, a, some weight up like this. I'll put a little something up there and then I'll, I'll bend it. I, I don't heat it or anything, nothing. No heat, no nothing. No moisture, just the wood itself. And I, I get a vise out now, uh, a clamp, a great big clamp, wherever it is. It, here it is here. This is what I do, just so I'm showing you this. Because I've done it many times, I go like this, and I put something um, like a towel here, so I don't mar the wood underneath here like this, and I go like this. Like that, and I start cranking. Okay, this is what I do. Can you guys see what's going on there? You can, can't you? Look. 
See? See what I got? I got a little something under the handle right there. So it raises up and then I actually bend it further. I bend it further than it's supposed to go. That's what I do when, I, when the time comes. We're not doing that though right now though. We're going to though. I'll bet that even helped right there. So that's what I'll do. I'll find the bend and I'll put it in there. Okay, friends, this is amazing. I got to show you this. This is looking incredible, actually. Let's, let's check this out. You notice something? Check this out. Watch. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> Check it out. Now, there's no peel. It's just compressed. Look at that, friends. See that? Look at how compressed that is right there. See? We're actually getting all the way there now. I've got a touch more to go. I'm not going to go too much more. I'm, I'm not going to. But I am going to go a little bit. Wow, look at this, friends. I, I, I want to show you guys something. Check this out. Watch this. See how compressed that is? Watch this. I'm liking it. Give me a sec. One hundred and ninety six people. Nice to see everybody.
Okay, I think this is our last fit, friends. I just need to, uh, it is our last fit, actually. This is it. So I just need to quickly sand this. Well, I guess I could do it here. Not with this, though. I gotta cut this kerf now about to about there. There's all these little steps you have to take. Just give me two seconds, literally. I already know it's done, friends. I don't have to worry about it now. Hey, we have Super Chatter right there. Who is that? Corey Scheller. Corey, thank you, buddy.
sometimes I get lucky when I uh, when I heat it. If I find the spot that's right there. So if I heat this side, sometimes it bends back over. going dark on this one, friends. Real dark. I think it's straightened out. Oh my goodness, the move dog. Move dog, Mike, looking good, bucking, and have a great day all. Move dog, $49 super chat. Holy smokes. Move, thank you, buddy. Wow. That's huge. Thanks to the super chatters. Christine, Tasman, Kenny Fuller, Jordan R., you sent a comment to me last night. I appreciate your kindness and great. To know there's more watchers on the island. Thanks, Jordan. Cameron Hammer, good to see you, Cameron. I read that burning handles weakens them, but I rolled a three-foot wide, ten-foot maple stump over. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I it actually strengthens them, <laughs> to be honest with you. I found them, especially when you hit them with the vodka. This actually handle straightened out almost. Wow, that's still hot. Okay, this, I'm not kidding, friends. That's crazy. We had a huge rain here a couple days ago. This feels like glass now. Whoa, William, William Chat Chase, $27 super chat. William, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Lock a line, good to see ya. The Matt Man. William, what a guy you are. Thanks, pal. I appreciate ya. I 
haven't been making a lot of axes. There's so many people making axes. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> William S. with a super chat. William, you're the man. You're a big help, William. Thank you. Okay, that feels like a piece of glass. Whoa! Cass 1101. Hey, Mr. Buck and Billy Ray. Look, looking great as usual. Hope everyone is well. From a Cass 1101. Super chatter. Wow. Whoa, we got more super chatters rolling hard. Jeremy Mullen. Jeremy, you're a heck of a man. Thanks for the support, buddy. <laughs> what a guy. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Friends, we got to thank these super chatters. That's huge. Look at them all lined up across there. I miss the old super chatter days. We don't go live that much anymore. It's sure good to see you guys. What a support. Nice axe, John. Uh, oh, the one I'm making, buddy, you mean? Or, yeah, it's coming. It's not together yet. It's going to be amazing, though. Thanks, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, this is going to be scary. It actually straightened out. That's crazy. the axe. All right. Let's get you guys on. This thing's going to be crazy. And it's actually almost done. I say we pound it home. There's nothing, there's nothing really more to do. Now, remember, friends, before you pound on the top of your axe, if that's the, if that's the system you do, make sure that you chamfer this edge, chamfer it. You know what I mean by that? Chamfer it, like this. Or you're gonna break your ax handles and you're gonna be mad, like that, right? Chamfer the sucker. Okay, don't forget to do that. Whoa, who's that? Oh, it's Tasman Kenny Fuller with a super chat. Love wins, please give Buck and all the support you can and tell your friends this man is truly changing lives around the world for the better. Lift one another up. Love one another. What a nice comment that is, Taz man. What a guy. Taz, thank you, buddy. Well, Taz, you know what I'm doing here. 
You know what I'm doing here, Taz. We, we don't, it's no secret what I'm doing here on YouTube. It, is it? Well, is it? No, it's not. It's not a secret at all. Did you hear that? Play it back and listen to it again when I, when I, when you're done watching. Play it back. You'll notice this, this eye comes right dead square off the freaking axe. You look down it, and then the handle bends out a little bit. It, it ain't going to make no... Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, this, this, is, this is a problem. This, this, this is a horrible problem, this. Friends, do you want to know what's crazy? Do you, do you want to know? I'm going to show you what's crazy. This. That's crazy. Did you see how hard I hit that? No more peel. If I was to bang this off again, friends, you'd see a great big indenting. Now, as far as I can tell, this axe handle is as dry as it'll ever be. It's probably got some moisture in it. Whoa, Martin. Martin with a $10 super chat. Martin Tezelar. Martin, who's that? Martin. Buddy, thank you. From the UK by the looks of it. Or Ireland? Where are you from, brother? Martin. Buddy, thank you. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for your support, buddy. I gotta tuck my shoe in. Don't forget to get your Buck and Billy Ray t-shirts at buckandbillyray.com. That's a heck of a website in there, friends. We could have a crazy week on our hands. Buckin, got an accent I'd like to send to you and have you make me one. Oh, Jason. I appreciate it, buddy, but I'm not doing that right now. I, I'm just not. Jason, I again, I, I thank you and I appreciate you, but it's it's not. Friends, uh, if you go back and, and look at this whole axe thing, how this worked, friends, I didn't want to make axes. I didn't. I didn't want to make axes. Uh, who can remember this whole thing playing out when I was in my carport freezing my can off, making axes in a winter? I said, I'll make 20 axes and that's it. We'll never make another axe. I'll make 20 axes. They sold overnight. I knew nothing about YouTube. I knew nothing about YouTube. That's when I learned about YouTube and learned about a community. and learned about supporting, like people you don't even know just started to support me. And, and, and I, owe, I owe everything to you people. I owe everything that's happened to me on this channel to you people. Honestly, friends, I'm feeling it right now as I speak to you. It, it, it's, it's so hard to explain, friends. I, and then we just started making axes. And it helped the channel. It did because we never had any, any Patreons or any sponsored videos or any anything. All I did was make videos and you people supported me like you're doing right now. I've never asked for a freaking dime from anybody, anywhere in my life, as a matter of fact, let alone YouTube. I've never asked for nothing. And you people just come here and support me. Like, think about that for a second, friends. Think about it. Why do you think I'm here all the time doing things? For you guys, that's why. Because you deserve it. I'm a man of service. This YouTube phenomenon is crazy. It happens to people and you just, you never think it could happen to you. You don't. And if you're thinking about opening up a YouTube channel, check yourself. Check yourself. Honestly, check yourself. Because if you go on asking for money or, or, or people are going to smell that, that you, they're just going to smell you. So if you're, if you're, if, I don't know, like just be honest with people. Uh, like 
they're gonna smell ya. So, I just came here and put videos out daily, daily. So I don't want to go off on that, but don't think people are stupid. Don't 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 take your fans for stupid. Okay, human beings aren't stupid, and you and you you know what I'm saying. Just work. Just work. Go to work. Go to work. Turn on the camera. Do a video. If, you know, if your sole purpose, if your sole purpose is to make money on YouTube, then start taking sponsored videos because they pay really well, I hear. Just start taking sponsored videos. Get paid to advertise products. But be careful. Be very careful because what will happen to you is your name will become mud in very short order. Your name will become mud and your brand will become saturated because your word also, all of a sudden, everybody thinks you just do everything for money. And then no one trusts the products anymore that you talk about. Do you understand what, I guess that's just where my head is. Look at how excited I'm getting about this. You know how proud I am? I, I don't know if it's stupid or proud, I'm not sure. But it feels right in my heart and that's all that matters to me. I don't care. Okay, enough ramble. You're a wise man, Buck, and you should be proud. Love, Jeremy. Well, I am proud. I am. Friends, I'm, I'm, I'm freaking proud, as a matter of fact. I, I, you know, I... I don't, I don't go complaining about things. I just come here and hopefully help you guys out, do something, show you something. The other day I'm chopping my freaking pants with an ax and, and, and then wearing them to the job. I don't care. <laughs> I'm a shoemaker. <laughs> Tin Man calls me a shoemaker. Let's get a wedge. I'm getting fired up. I don't want to get fired up. I don't want I don't want to today. I'm having a nice day. I don't I don't want to I don't want to get fired up. You don't want to see me fired up. Trust me, you don't. You don't. 8 years I've been coming here. 8 years. 8 years. Grab my videos. Take a look at how many videos I have on my channel and divide them by how long I've been doing YouTube. It'll probably add up to 1.5 videos per day. Something crazy like that. Anyway. I got to take a little bit off of this here. I think what I'm going to do this axe is, 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 you know what it is. You know what it is. I'm going old school right now. Friends, I love you people. I do. I mean, I, I just, I do. I, I, I love people. I've, I, I've said forever, I, I don't need nothing. Okay? I don't need nothing. Do you know what I have, friends? Do you know what I have? I have resilience. And I have faith. And I have love. And I have a purpose. I didn't know what my purpose was many, many years ago. I didn't know what it was. But I'm starting to get a little more focused. I'm a 53-year-old man. I'm a 53-year-old man who's been pounded into the ground like a fence post or, or a tent peg uh, quite a few times in his life, physically, okay? 
I thought I was going to die a couple times, but I made it. Then I didn't think I was going to be able to walk again, but I actually did. I got myself to go again. And I got back on a saw and started feeding my family again, climbing and, and trees and fallen timber. So I've got a story. Trust me, I've got a story. But the last thing you're going to hear me saying is, oh, my back sore. Or, oh, I, I, I got, I, I, you know what I mean? I'm, you're, you're just not going to hear me complain. <laughs> you're not going to hear it. Because there's people that are way off worse than me. And what have I got to complain about? I've got cold drinks in my fridge. I've got food, a loving family. I've got f friends. You know, everybody always says this, but do, are you feeling it in here? Do you know what I mean? Are you feeling it inside? What, what more? See, I'm getting fired again. I'm on a kick. I am. I'm on a kick. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to approach this nice and slow. I, I said to everyone, I, I, I'm not reading, oh my goodness, there's Doug Wheeler right there. Oh my goodness, we got super chats like crazy. I missed a bunch of super chats. Let's talk to some people. You people are amazing. Look at this. Nick Pixel with a $19 light the fire. Nick Pixel, I love you, buddy, and I love your help. You've been so helpful here, Nick. I love you, buddy. We got something from Tom Bowen. $50 from New Zealand. Keep up the good work, Buck, and love you from New Zealand. Brother, thank you so much. Thank you. I love it. And we got another guy here. Look at this guy, Doug Wheeler. Good old Doug Wheeler's always there. Dougie, how are you doing, bud? You feeling strong, Dougie? I hope so, pal. Hey, listen. It's going to sound silly. It's going to sound silly, friends. Did you see that freaking video the other day I did on the ball with my shirt off? Did you see that with the ball there when I was doing that? What was I doing? What was I doing? Why would I do that on, on, on the world stage, in the arena? Why in the world would I do that? For attention? You know me better than that. So that's a no. Why do you think I did it? I did it because I want to help people. I'm not just going to lay down, friends. I'm not laying down. I'm 53. I've said it 10 times today already, and I might even say it again. Watch out. I'm going. I've got one kick at the cat here. I'm 53. I want to I, I, I wanna go one more time, friends. I'm almost feeling, I'm almost getting emotional right now in my throat. I can feel it in here because I, I, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to lay down. I, I, I'm not going to get, I'm not getting fat. I'll tell you this right now. I'm not getting fat and I'm not turning into an old man. It's not happening. No, it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not happening. I'm going cutting all over the I'm going cutting all over the states. When this world cleans up, look at me. I'm standing here like a rooster, cocking like a look, look at me. I'm not kidding. Friends, I'm not on no drugs. I don't take drugs. This is life. I I I I I'm high on life, friends. Okay? The fact that I get to do things and be somewhere, anywhere. So, so, so I, I believe I'm here to inspire people and to help people. Have you ever felt down in the dumps, dirty, busted up, smashed, useless, feeling like you were a waste of skin and a failure to yourself and your family and the world and feel like off in yourself? Has anyone ever felt like that? I have. I have. See, I'm going. I, I'm getting going again. <sighs> What's this? I think I found our wedge. I may have found our wedge, friends. Yeah, I think I did. What is that? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we did. Hang on. Are you, are you, are you, are you checking this out? <laughs> I mean, okay. Hang on, I gotta clean these glasses. My hair is starting to get long. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. We got more super chatters. Lyle Davis, my buddy Lyle. Keep fighting all. Lyle, thank you for the super chat. We got a big one here, friends. We got a big super chatter here. Check this guy out. $75. Oh my gosh. Oh my goshness. It's my buddy, Lieutenant Bradley. It's, it's the Lieutenant of the channel, Lieutenant Bradley. Buddy, oh man. You're, you're a lifer, Johnny, aren't you? I know you are. You are, you're a lifer. You know my heart, Johnny, Lieutenant. I know you do. You know my heart. I love you, John. Johnny, I do. I love you and your wife. You're, you're good, good people. Thank you so much for your support. Here's another man, Tom Joyner. Tommy, this is all I need in my life. Th these are the kind of people I want around me right here. These kind of people. People that are here, the true blues that know what I'm doing. They know what's in here. They know what's in here. There's a lot of people that don't know who I am. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> and I don't blame them. There's so much on the internet. What are you supposed to think of about a weirdo like me? Do you, know how, do you know how much I bit my tongue when I came here, friends, to YouTube? Oh my goodness, I bit my tongue for so long. I want world peace. That's what I want. We've never talked politics. We've never talked religion. Never, 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 never. I've never justified my existence to anyone. I've never gotten a pee-in contest in, a, in the comment section in eight years since I've been on this channel. I've done nothing but love people and give things away randomly for free to no, to people I've never even seen on the channel before for the for the sake of given. Given's given. I don't care if you give them to the bum on the street, the drug addict, where you're scared to give them to him because he's, you, you think he's going to buy some dope with it or some booze. Well, what, is that the reason you're not going to give to him? Well, that doesn't make sense to me. Given's given. Whatever he does with it, it's up to him. If that's going to stop you from giving, it's just give. It's, it's, not your, it's not your responsibility. That one cracks me up. Buy him some food then. Given's given. I don't care if you give to the guy who's got all the money in the world. If you give to him because you're giving to him, here you go, this is for you, sir, today. It's given. It's the same energy. It's the same stuff. Just give, just like this axe today. I'm giving this axe away today to some crazy person on this channel. Because I want to. That's it. There's nothing. I don't care. I don't want nothing. There's no thought behind it thinking, oh, if I do this, maybe this will happen. No. Because you ruined it. You've just ruined your gift. You've wrecked it. Is that going to go there? Gosh. I wonder if I should put hickory in there. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to put this in there. I'm doing it. Okay, I got to disappear for two seconds. Whoa. Aaron Olson. Love chopping wood with an axe. Love you, Billy Ray. Love you too, Aaron. Given is given, Andrew, isn't it, buddy? Given's given, man. That's what it is. Excuse me one second.
Actually, you know what I just thought about, friends? We gotta do this. Hey, wait a second, who's that? It's Martin Tazelez again. Next time I'm in Nanaimo, you have a great axe to bring back to Holland. You have a great axe to bring back to Holland next time in Nanaimo. Martin, thank you, buddy. Thanks for the support, pal. Okay, you know what I just thought about, friends? Yeah, we got to do something different here. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. We got to do something different. Hang on. Where is my... Ah, there we go. Right there. Hickory. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Just got to get this right. Oh, look at that. Walnut. Okay, this is what I'm talking about right there. See that? I need that right there, friends. I got to build this wedge. Yeah, I got to build this. So, you guys better come out with me here. Come on out. Let's go. Martin, thank you, buddy. You're a good man. Appreciate your help, pal. Big time. Okay, we got to build a wedge. Excuse me. Do you guys remember when I got this thing? This thing right here, I got it for free. This is walnut. Where's he at?
you may ask yourselves, you 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 may ask yourselves, what in the heck is is Bucking doing over there? What what's he doing, friends? Listen, I see it all the time. I see guys go to smack wedges in in their in their axes. You 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 got to understand what's going on in there. For starters, I want this to go deep, like it's deep, okay. But if you go, you get your real sharp right here. Watch, watch this, watch. Watch. Okay, did you, did you see how far I was able to push that in by hand? That's so important, friend. If you don't do this work, you're not maximizing your ax. You're not maximizing your half. Now think about this. Check this out. Check this out. Okay, let's go in. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a little something. Now just hang tough a sec here. Just, just give me a second. I gotta make sure before I make my, this is walnut by the way. So now what I got, but so, so you saw what I done, right? Watch, like that's down there friends. We're here, I'll show you. Let's just do this. Okay, look, let's get you plugged in again so we don't suffer. I don't want, I don't want us missing none of this stuff. I, I want to thank everybody for the super chats. You do not know how much that helps us right now. In the summer times, friends, I survive on views. Just so you know that. This channel survives on views. I would be selling all kinds of crazy axes, right? But I don't, I don't want to sell a whole pile of axes. I could be selling axes like crazy. That's not what I want to do in my heart every single day. I, 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 or I'd be doing it. It's not about money. It's about happiness for me, being happy. I made the decision how many years ago now when I quit my job. I, I quit my job. I says, I got to go make a living on a power saw. You guys know the story. It's the same reason. It's the same reason why I don't take all this stuff on. Same stuff. So when I tell you that your super chats and your super thanks is in the videos, you know, the, the little heart with the thanks thing by the thumbs up and that, it's huge for us. It is. I'm just saying it. It's massive. I'm not too proud to say that. Thank you. Sincerely. And our messengers of kindness who are monthly supporters who come to the channel and support us monthly. You know who you are. Thank you. Once a month, we give away a swag pack to a random person. We do. Now, this is what I want to show you. You see what's going on here? See that? See the little black mark there? Check this out. Okay, you see that? See that black mark? Look how far we're in already. Look at that. Okay, you, you understand what I'm doing out on the sander now? Yeah. And then you gotta think about to yourself, well, how much space have I got here? Does this work? I hope this is helping people because it, it's, it's, I've had great success with this. Right? How much space have I got? There there hardly anything on top just because there's nothing there is that too wide probably probably a little bit too wide but by the time this thing gets home i'm actually feeling really good about this i'm gonna leave it i'm actually gonna leave it i'm gonna pound this sucker home it's going home yeah, I'm leaving it. It's done. Okay. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I really like making these axes. 
Oh, indeed I do. Hello, Bert Silk. How you doing, Bert Stick? Bert Stick, good to see you, brother. The Netherlands. Andrew, how are you? Corey Miller. Very nice to see you, Corey. You're a good man. Thanks. Oh, my goodness gracious. Who's that? Who did this? Oh, my. Jeremy Mullen. Oh, my goodness gracious. I've learned a lot from you, BB, from over the years. I really enjoy wrenching on chainsaws and bucking wood. Your mindset, experience, and hands-on skills is priceless, man. You help me out more times than I can count. Just returning the favor, boss. Jeremy. Jeremy, brother. Are you kidding me? Jeremy. <laughs> Buddy, that's massive. <laughs> Thank you so much. Brother, thank you. That's huge. Thank you, pal. Jeremy, thank you. What a huge support. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Get your file out or whatever you're using. Crack this open. See this? Crack it open. You can see. Hey, wait a minute. There we go. Whoa, whoa! That wasn't supposed to happen. But I'm okay with it. Look at that. I like it. Okay. I can't believe this. Swalker, Swalker, $20 super chat. Swalker, six by six. Swalker, thanks, brother. Holy cow, super chatters. Aaron Olson, we got. Wow. Holy cow. So good to see everybody again today. Okay. Here's our wedge. Who's ready for this? Who, who's freaking ready for this right now? These super chats are blowing my mind today. Okay, I want you guys to watch what happens here now. Some guys uh, turn them upside down. What, whatever you've been doing and it works, do it. I, I don't, I've been doing this forever and it works like crazy. So I'm not about to change now.
about 800 of these, eh? You know what I'm saying? I have. Hey, listen, I, I, I'm just going to say it. I, I hang a nice axe. I, I'm not, I, I hang a nice axe. I do. I'm trying to be humble, but I mean, the truth's the truth. That, that, but it took time. It took time. See, a lot of guys will soak their handles, you see. A lot of guys big that sell a lot of axes, they soak their handles in linseed oil. The big companies do it. HB, uh, I think Hoffman does it. Uh, G, uh, G, GBA does it. They soak them. They soak them. I don't. I'd rather stick them by the wood so dry them right out. Oh my goodness. Oh dear Lord. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Whoever knows me, they know what's going on when they see that. Here, hang on. You guys need your light back. dear friends my dear dear friends I kind of don't know what to say
probably not going to even, is it going to, I wonder why it doesn't do that. Oh, there it goes. There we go. That's interesting how that focus works, eh, friends? So this is the part, friends, that <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to say. Honestly, I don't. I really, 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 really enjoy me. What the heck? John McCormick. Hey, uh, John McCormick and Eric Holbrook Bucking, that's an absolutely beautiful, high quality tool. If someone takes care of it, will last a lifetime. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. I, I've got axes here that, that are very the same as this. I, I got on to building these Tazzies because I know they're good wood splitters. Friends, I paid a lot of money for these heads to get here out of Australia, and I got to thank the Ish man for helping out. And guys like uh, Marco. Marco, if you're watching, I love you, brother. Thank you again. Some friends that, that help us get this stuff. You guys still on? Are we still on, friends? Give me a heck yeah. I can't see nobody. Okay. Good.
Oh my goodness gracious. <clears throat> oh dear Lord. Okay, well, I guess I better get my stamp burner out. It's not complete. Let me go get my, um, let me go get my fire stamper, friends. We gotta, we gotta fire that thing up. You guys can just look at that for a second. Okay, let's make some fire. Let's do it. again to the super chatters and all the people that are hanging out Brad Walworth buddy good to see you Aldo William DeBerry Brad Walworth again Jerry Mullen John Morse Jamie Bark and Spider Fergo Morrissey, Josh Johnson, camera, Cameron Hammer, Christine, I love you, Mountain with Dave and Kelsey.
I don't really have anything left here, friends. That's a chopping block over there. So we're just kind of swinging in the dark here now. You know what I mean? Out she comes. That's what I like about this. I'll show you why this isn't split. Not right there. Look at that. Still holding on. This thing's beautiful. We're down to the, we're down to the total nitty gritty now. Daniel, look at this. This stuff's maple and it's right knotted up. Look at this guy. Look at that. all about where you hit the wood, friends. It's all about where you hit the wood. Oh my gosh. Dear Dear Lord, friends, I, I don't even I don't even know what to really say. To be honest, if I seen this axe somewhere in the world, I would just be like, what? Where, who, why, and where did this come from? Who made this? Is this one of those fucking Billy Ray axes? <laughs> now I'm starting to sound a little bit get carried away now.
Look at this. Look at this thing. You don't want to be hitting that right there, do you? No, you don't. You want to hit it right there. See that? Right beside the knot. This is over, this thing. You can't really do much more with that. Maybe here. Maybe right there. I don't know though. Right there, maybe. Nope. Doubt it. Nope. Dead square. No, oh, no, heavens no. See that? Wow! Look at that, friends. Look at that great big knot right there. So you don't swing like I'm doing. You swing right there beside it. This is how you make these pieces smaller. Right there. Like that. See that? Right there. Came off right beside the knot. See that? Right like that. You, there's no sense in even trying to go sideways. You could take a little chunk right here. That's it. Right there. And it's worth it. That's worth it. Now, that thing there. The only thing you could try, if it was still too big, friends, is you could try and shank off another piece, which you probably could do. You probably could do. But you'd have to hammer straight down the middle. There you go. See, that was my last hit there. You'll never get it going this way. I mean, never is fantasy, but see this? There it is. That's how you do those knots. This thing is scary. I mean, scary.
We better plug you guys in. I don't want you guys to die. Nobody wants to die. We all die sometime. Wow, Scott Miller, what a guy. What a man you are. Thank you so much. Friends, just remember, human beings, um, human beings are not, are not stupid. They're not stupid. They see through, they, they see through stuff. And I'm speaking to people who are building channels, actually. That's who I'm speaking to. Because I get asked a lot from people, you know, Buck, and how did you, I'm opening up a channel or I'm opening up a business. How did you, I, friends, I don't know. I don't know how I uh, how I did it. I, I don't know other any other way than just being yourself. Um, what I do see a lot of is people doing things that they know nothing about that they've either I I, I won't say copied but you see people doing things that others are doing. And you can see that they don't know, kind of, it's not their passion. Let's just say they're better at other things. But for some reason, they've got it in their head that this will work. And they're doing it. And it, it's a little bit sad to see because um, they're better at other things. They clearly have a, a, a job that they're, I, I hope that makes sense. Because people ask me this question all the time. Uh and I, I just say, be yourself. Turn on your camera at work do, if you're allowed to. I, I don't. I don't have the answers. Uh, it was important for me to come here and work. You know what I mean? Just work, because I believe working is a is a positive thing for a man to do and a woman and a child. But but a man, I, I believe a man should work. I, that's just what I believe. <sighs> Uh, so all I know is we have this thing inside us that I know when I don't work, I don't feel good. I, I have a physical part of me. I have a mental, a spiritual and a physical part. And if I'm not be, if I'm not able to be physical and go, I, I'm, I go sideways, not on other people, not on other people. Cause I'm smarter than that. I don't take my life out on people, but I do get, I do get a little bit like, uh, antsy. Maybe irritable a little bit and I just go away somewhere. Oh, and then I'll go get a cord of firewood and I'm all fine. I feel fine. I need to be doing something physically uh, to balance out the mental and the spiritual. If that makes any sense. I need to get my hands dirty. Oh, let's not say I need to, but I, I feel better when I do. I'm more balanced at peace. So creating, right? So people ask me this all the time and I, I don't have any answers, uh, but, I, but I do know that your followers aren't, aren't stupid and they're going to smell what you're doing. And another thing I think, I, I don't think people are surrounding themselves with the right people sometimes. I think there's a lot of yes men out there telling people that they're doing great when actually they're not. Don't be afraid to tell your friends that, that maybe they're not doing that good and, and you're concerned about them and ask them what they're doing. Are you afraid you're going to hurt their feelings? Well, then that's, that's your problem. 
that's your problem. If you care about somebody and you see them doing something that you don't think is uh, becoming of them, or, 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 and if you love them and you believe truly in them, then you won't be afraid to say, hey, bud, what, 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 do you, what, what is that you're doing there? I just kind of wonder. I've never seen you do that before. And now you're, whatever the case may be, surround yourself with freaking friends that are going to give it to you straight is what I'm saying. There's lots of yes people out there. Some people want to see you fail. Did you, did you ever think of that? Did you ever think of that, friends? That there's people out there that just want to watch you fail? Well, there is. There is. I, I, I'm sorry to say, but there is. There's tons of people that want to see me just fail terribly. I remember in the beginning when I started running this channel, I had a rough go. People were trying to, they were coming at me hard. I don't know what for, actually, now that I think back. I don't know what for. I don't know. I think because people were supporting me, actually, now that I think about it. I think that's what it was. Remember, friends? People were going to run me into the ground. Your ship's sinking, Buck and Billy Ray. You're going down. You're going down. You're, you're a con man. You're going down. Okay. Yeah. There's people that want to see you fail. So just, just remember that. So con man, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> I love that one. Con man, Billy Ray. I love it. Go away if you think that's that. Just go away. It's it's so much easier on everybody, and especially on you. Easier on you. So obviously, I'm getting tired now. But yeah, yeah. I guess so. Jay, Jay knows my heart. Jay, Jay Daniels knows who I am. He he knows very well who I am, and that's who I like to surround my people, my myself, is people who know who I am. Let me just say one more thing to you. Not one sponsored video. Hi friends, I just want to, before I start the video, I just want to thank our sponsors today. It's just not me. It's just not me. I, I, that's all. There's nothing wrong with it. I, I'm not saying, I've never said there's anything wrong with it. It's just not me. But if someone came to me with a product that was had something to do with the industry and they wanted to pay me to help advertise and support their product and get their product out there and make them thousands and thousands of dollars, I would do so. Over here, I would do so. So I said that this year would be the year, didn't I? Give me a heck yeah if you heard me say that. That this year was going to be the year that you would see Buck and Billy Ray do something on the channel in regards to a sponsorship or a partnership or some kind of collaboration. Who remembers me saying it? Come on. Indeed you did. Yes, you did. Well, get ready because there's something brewing. It's good to see people here. It's good good to see a lot of these names. Wow. Hey, there's a guy. There's a guy right there. Look at that guy. Hey, there's Ish. What shorts? My cutoffs, ish. No, these are special made. I'll I'll get some cutoffs soon. It's hot. I'm sweating. Jay Daniels, good to see you, brother. I'll make some shorts for you, ish. Daisy Dukes, they call him, I guess. Yeah. Anyways. 
That was fun making that axe. I felt like making an axe and giving one away today. I just felt like it. I, I don't know. I just do. I don't make any big. You know, people say. You know, what people say to me all the time, friends. You know, there's some some guys that make axes out there, and they'll go on Facebook and they'll do these like I guess auctions or raffles or something. They make like thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars on one axe, and I'm like, oh, that would be nice, but I just can't do it. I can't do that. I don't know why. I just, it's worth what, now, could I sell it for $600? All day long, I could. Every day, all day long. That axe right there, that axe sells for 600 bucks right there. That's it. That's what I sell my axes for. All day. No problem saying it, neither. Oh, my goodness gracious, friends. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, Would you look at that? Now, this is a tough decision for me. There's so many cool people on this channel. I was hoping to just randomly see someone and just give it to them. I was. And I've seen a couple, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a tough one. Because there's like five people I see right now that I want to give this axe to. There is. And I probably will end up doing that over time. And I think I've already done maybe one or two of them. Ah, I think. I think I have. Anyways, um, Jamie, Bark and Spider, have you got a bucking special yet, Jamie? I forget. It's a long way to ship there, and I'm almost afraid to because we lost four in Ireland to a guy. We, we, we're missing four axes. But there's a man called Jamie Bark and Spider, and he's a friend of mine, and he's, he's a very, very positive guy, and he's, he's made decisions in his life recently to, to be a better man. To be a better man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jamie Bark and Spider. I, I, I forget if we've even given you one. Did we give you an axe, Jamie? Do you got one yet? Who's this? Scott Miller. Oh, what a guy, Scott. Want to throw in a t-shirt. Oh, yeah, there's a great idea. Jamie, yeah. Jamie Bark and Spider. This is your axe, brother. Maybe this will help you on your new journey, buddy. Just keep doing what you're doing, buddy. I will, Jamie. I will. You too, bud. Brad. Hey, Brad. Walworth. I was I was looking at you, Bradley. I was. I'm not kidding you. I saw your name come up and I was looking at you. And I, I, I just I just about did, Bradley. I'm telling you, I did. You were on the list. You're a good man, Brad. I love you, buddy. You know that. You know that. Congratulations, Jamie Bark and Spider. You won yourself a buck and special today for just being you and wanting to be a good man. That's it. Plain simple, bud. Yeah, I remember, Brad. Yeah, I knew you had a couple, Bradley. As a matter of fact, that's why I went with Jamie, to be honest with you. Yeah, Jamie, this is yours. This is it right here, bud. And I'm telling you something, brother. This is a... Well, you just seen what happened out there with it. 
It's a four and a half pound axe. This is a four and a half pound. It, buddy. This thing's solid, brother. This is solid. You see this? Your friends see this thing right here? We're moving. We're moving on this. So I've got like, um, I'll show you an ax that I made recently. Here it is right here. Check this out, friends. Check this out. So, so this is, Ish, Ish found this for me in Australia. It's a Walters, friends. A Walters, okay? Walters is a Canadian, made in Canada, friends. It's the exact same axe I just made, Jamie Bark and Spider. Look at, look at this. Look. Look at, there it is. It's the exact same, four and a half pounds on a Tazzy. Walters. Check this out. These things are nuts. So, so guess what? So, so guess what? I thought that was Jamie's right there. It's not. So. Why can I do this? Why can I do this? You. You people. The messengers of kindness. The support that comes to this channel. And because of me. Because I put a lot of content up. That, that's basically how I get paid, friends. Is I put a, a lot of content up. I don't get a lot of views. I used to get more views than I did. But I, I don't get a ton of views. I, I do the best I can. But... Uh, you, 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 you people help me. That, that's, that's what happens. You do. You, you people uh, support me. And the Super Chats today helped with this so much. There was a gentleman, I think it was Scott Miller. He wanted to give a t-shirt away, add a t-shirt in there. So uh, I think it was Scott. Scott, am I right? Did you, did you say that, Scott? Scott Miller? Yeah, right here. Scott Miller wanted to, want to throw a t-shirt in there with the axe and a little for shipping. Scott Miller. Scott Miller, you're a heck of a man, and, and I'll take you up on that. I'll get, I'll get Jamie Bark and Spider. Uh, Christine, you can send him a shirt. So Bark and Spider, he, he's been here a long time, friends.
Uh, you're not gonna look. Look at this. Look at this hang, friends. Check this out. Look at that. That's how they're supposed to be. Wow. And this edge, I, I knew this thing was a good ax. See, these are the kinds of axes I keep usually. I'll be honest, I do. I keep stuff like this, but I've got, I've got some now. I've got a nice collection, I do. I'm thinking actually about selling some of my collection of axes, to be honest, I am. I got a lot of axes. I don't need them all. Friends, Christine, thank you so much. Healed Heart Space, good to see you. Healed Heart, Jamie, Jamie Bark and Spider. Jerry, Jerry, good to see you, buddy. Hey, there's Bert with a super chat. What a guy. Bert's a good man. Bert Lemieux, what a good guy. Holy smokes, the super chats are flying again. I forge knives and want to try an axe head. What steel do you look for your axe heads? Oh, I tool steel, you know, 5160, 4140. Some of the companies use 1085s, something like that, 10, but 50, uh, 4140 is a good, good steal. 4140, yeah. I want to thank all our super chatters today, friends. I, I'm going to go, I'm going to go relax. I'm going to go sit down. I lost some footage of a tree job, but I got GoPro footage. I was climbing a cedar the other day. I got GoPro footage and I... I thought I had it in the other phone, but it was it was the view of me in the tree. I was it was kind of good, but it doesn't matter. I've got I've still got some footage. That's coming up. Uh yeah. Jamie Bark and Spider says he's speechless for once there. Friends, I want to thank you for coming here and supporting this channel. Hit the thumbs up before you hit the road. It does help. Subscribe if you haven't, for crying out loud, why not? If you like power saws and axes and just being nice to people, being kind, working together to try and make a better place so we can all kind of do better in life. That's what, that's what I'm doing here. So thanks for being here. Project done poorly. I like that. $5 super chat. Thanks to all the super chatters. Moderators, I love you. Thank you. People, True Blues, you've been here forever. Thank you for coming here. Work hard, be honest, be kind, friends. We'll catch you on the next video. Thank you all.